Good morning, everybody. I do believe it's March 3rd today. And uh, yeah, I guess they just showed up with the D6T cat. We're going to push a little bit of snow the proper way. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna use it for a few other things too. And uh, so stay tuned for that. Different, uh, different day. We're just uh, gonna pack this puppy right off here. We're gonna see how much it'll push. I'm hoping it'll push more than my fence. <laughs> Woo! That looked like a ride. All right, so he's just kind of getting going here. They also just fired up the high hole. They're letting it warm up. So basically, what the plan is, is all that snow has got to go that way. See, I pushed all that snow off of the yard, and I really didn't think that much through because I didn't actually plan on putting a duggo down there, and this is kind of a last minute deal. So uh, I want all this, well I shouldn't say all of it, but a lot of that snow and all these little willows are all going to go that way, and then it's going to kind of dump them into the sloop, kind of the plan. And the reason why, because we want to open this right up so we can get this dirt off the dugout up on top of this bank, basically where the snow is. And then he's going to top that dirt. Well, that's the plan anyways. Uh, so I can come and grab it with the scraper. Make sense? Makes sense. pushing snow. <laughs> That's awesome. I don't know if you can get these things stuck in the snow. I would assume that you could. And I would assume that would be a bad day. Well, Mike, I got some questions, buddy. Um, why didn't you just move all this snow with your loader and then it would have saved a pile of money and then he could have just moved the trees when he got here with the cat? Uh, that's because this stuff has kind of melted here a little bit. We had a little bit of a warm spell and it's pretty much just gigantic blocks of ice. And I just can't move that with the fence. And uh, when I ran into it the first time, I thought I could give it a little bit of a move. I thought I was gonna break my loader off. So I'm like, oh. Obviously that's not going to work, so we had to bring up the big artillery here. Well, we're just warming up in the truck here. Um, Arden's warming up his tracks there on that hi-ho, as you can see clearly. <laughs> oh man, that's how I wake up in the morning. I'm just like, I feel like I'm really trying to get something done. I really do. But I'm just not going anywhere. <laughs> He's still going. Well, we'll go down here and uh, see how this is going. We'll try not to get run over here.
improve snow. That's actually working pretty dang good. So again, we're just trying to get all this snow out of here. We'll probably push it over there somewhere. And the willows. Because we're just nicely getting going on all this dirt. And it's got to get pushed up. Basically where he's going to put all that, or where he's cleaning all that snow off. I should also mention that it's about minus 27 out. It is chilly out here today. Stuff is freezing. My nose is cold, my fingers are cold, and I am looking forward to spring. Most definitely. There's a lot of stuff going on around here this morning. Mike, are you worried about getting run over? That's actually a really good question. Uh, no, not at all. I've been around heavy equipment my entire life. And I told those guys, they, they just do their job, they do their thing. I will look out for them. But in saying that, we're back. It's now middle of the afternoon. Um, I know we're uh, time traveling here. So we actually were unable to move hardly any snow since the last clip. Uh, the problem is, is their cat actually broke down. Now you know that we are no strangers to breakdowns and that is unfortunate. If it's man-made, you guys, it will break down. I do believe it's a wiring harness. At least that's what they tell me. Uh, they've been working on it here. They have their mechanic here working on it. They've been working on it for a good chunk of the day and to no prevail. So uh, he's now laying under there to my knowledge, disconnecting the planetaries. Uh, and Arden is moving snow with the high hole here and he is gonna pull the cat on with the traco And we're waiting for the semi and trailer to get here and they're gonna not take it back to their shop I guess and fix it there and I don't blame them minus 20 or minus 25 It's warmed up here, too, and uh, it cannot be a fun job working on that stuff under there. So that's what they're doing Now why is this important uh, because We committed to moving that dirt pile up here once all this snow was moved and uh, we are the Traco Arden is now waiting for our cat operator and of course he can't move anything so uh, we're gonna have to probably postpone the job is my guess. And here it comes out. So the cat has cleats and the high ho does not, so which is the reason why the high ho is slipping a bit. It's actually a pretty good pull. And here we go again. Definitely having trouble uh, pulling it on this ice, but we're gonna get her. All right, so they arrived with their trailer. You see that first little trailer with the two axles on it? That's called a Jeep. So uh, they're gonna have to unhook uh, the neck of this here main trailer, and then pull the Jeep in the neck. I don't know how that's actually done. I've never, I've never pulled a trailer with a Jeep on it. To be honest with you but anyways we want to get this trailer on the ground okay then that is how they're doing it so I guess to unhook it they're gonna have to unhook that Jeep off that truck come back and hook up the trailer to the truck and then pick the neck off that's a lot of work never mind we're hooking back up what do I know Sorry about that, I just had to sneeze. I had to, <laughs> I had to pause the video to sneeze and then you missed the lock-in. Oh, I see what they're doing. For some for some reason, I guess, they had to uh, unhook the Jeep so that way they could unhook the neck of that main one. As you can see, there's a gap under it. So uh, they're hooking the uh, neck of the main trailer back to the Jeep. 
and then I'm guessing they're gonna take the neck right off while they drive away. There it comes. Yeah, exactly what we thought. Well, that doesn't actually look that fun to do, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think they've had that knack off in a little while because it took them a little bit, which would probably make sense that they didn't, or that they wouldn't have it off. You know, I'd actually be surprised if they drive the uh, Traco up and over, pulling the cat, because it's probably gonna be too much weight for the uh, trailer. But we'll see. Oh, I guess I didn't even think about that. They're gonna push it on, that makes sense. See, uh, we're also no stranger to pulling uh, tractors on trailers. Most of the time they're fence tractors on trailers, to be honest with you. Uh, but we can't push them. But I guess, hence, there's a blade on the cat and you can't break those things. So uh, that makes sense. That makes sense. That's going to be a solid hit when that cat goes up on that trailer. I wonder if he's going to spin out with that Draco. Oh, I see what they're doing. They uh, blocked the front of the cat so that way it won't roll because it's essentially a neutral right. And uh, now I feel like they might hook a chain to the back and pull it over. but. <laughs> Every time I think they're going to do something, they keep changing it up. So I'm just going to shut up and we're just going to see how they're going to do it. Oh, well, they're, they're just kind of blocking it up here. I guess that kind of help push it up. This would be a little bit more challenging um, when there's no brakes and it's just essentially neutral. Typically when we're pulling tractors on, yes, it's in neutral, but we still always have our brakes. So if it kind of rolls funny or does funky things, you know, we can always get stopped. You're not stopping this thing. If it wants to do that funky thing, uh, it's going to do a funky thing. Well, I think we have a pretty good idea what they're going to do here. <laughs> Yep. They're gonna pull it on. All right, we're ready to rock.
And that's a wrap, you guys. You guys have yourself an awesome one. And uh, these guys are going to chain down and hook back up, and you guys get the idea. So we'll have to have another update later because obviously the job's only half done. But uh, we'll catch you guys on the flipper. Adios, amigos.